Singer R. Kelly was released from a Chicago jail earlier today after authorities say someone made a $161,000 child support payment on his behalf. On Wednesday, he was he did uh, was uh, excuse me put back behind bars after not paying that child support. Our Roseanne Aragon spoke exclusively with his uh, publicist, Roseanne. That's right, the publicist tells me he speaks with R. Kelly daily, and his focus is really on getting him to relax before the big trial. He says R. Kelly was so happy to receive that help. Now he says his client is focused on going back to court. R&B singer R. Kelly with his attorney walking out of the Cook County Jail again. I promise you we're going to straighten all this stuff out. That's all I can say right now. I promise you. Freedom after three nights in jail after allegations of unpaid child support, a remaining debt of $161,000 and change, which a judge ordered R. Kelly had to pay. It's open season on R. Kelly. But Cook County deputies say someone paid the money on Kelly's behalf. I love my fans. Thank you for sticking that with me. Speaking exclusively with KPRC is R. Kelly's publicist and crisis manager, Daryl Johnson, who's heard the money came from supporters. He has a lot of friends, a lot of friends from all across Chicago, and people just raised money. They raised a lot of money. In February, an Illinois woman paid $100,000 to bail him out for 10 counts of criminal sexual abuse. The charges involved four people, three of them minors. Has he ever shown any type of remorse for the people who are in pain from this Situation. Absolutely. Every day he says he feels for uh, the, uh, those who, that, who, who have uh, uh, alleged that they've been um, uh, done wrong. You know, and he, he doesn't understand what's happening. This explosive interview with Gail King went viral. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this Oh, that's some things that we could have changed with the interview, absolutely. The emotions were high, but Ms. Co Ms. Kelly's no emotional man. They wanted to hear from Ms. Kelly. That's what the public said, and that's what happened. Ms. Kelly spoke. He will be speaking a lot more. He says R. Kelly isn't backing down. I tried to twist and turn and, like, you know, tell me you know, what I don't know. And, uh, you know, every time I talk to him, you know, he, the guy's saying he's innocent. Kelly will be back in court Wednesday for the child support allegations and then again later this month regarding the criminal trial. Johnson says for now R. Kelly is at his home at Trump Tower. He's advised him to lay low and relax and perhaps watch some Netflix. Interesting because in your interview he said he's going to advise him to keep talking. That's right. He said right now he wants him to lay low, mm -hmm. but eventually he wants him to start talking to the public because he says the lack of response from him could make people feel like he is guilty. All right. All right. Roseanne, thank you so much.